present good morning to you. I'm speaking especially to husbands and wives. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Uh, that's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Verse 32 says, And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Hear me out on this. Husbands and wives must understand the serious responsibility. Their responsibility is not to each other alone, but to their children. Uh, because you see, the script that we live our lives with. I'm speaking about children who grow up and become adults. They got that script by looking at how their parents settled arguments and how their parents were quick to forgive or stopped talking to each other for days. So the Bible is saying bitterness and wrath and anger should not be a part of husband and wife relationship. This is serious thing. When, when a husband and wife have learned uh, to forgive each other, they are helping their children who will become adults to know how to forgive the spouse. Take this thing seriously. In other words, you are planting a seed uh, of uh, settling arguments easily if you do it to the, to the next generation. So in other words, if you want your children uh, to get married and get along well with their spouse, it is important that at this juncture, at this point in your married life, or if you're not married and you're living together with somebody and you have children, and you still have that responsibility to show your children how they should not uh, encourage bitterness. Uh, listen, uh, the word of God says in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32 also uh, that we should be tender hearted. Watch, there are some individuals who work at places and the boss asks them to work an extra hour and they smile and say, yes boss, yes boss. But their husband asks them to wait a little 15 minutes longer to pick them up and they get annoyed and there's troops and they get that. No! We have to be tender hearted to our partners. Please understand. Uh, listen, as you go through the day, think of, of something or some way you can achieve being tender hearted and more forgiving to your partner by doing that today and ongoing. Listen, listen, God bless you by doing this today and ongoing. God is going to bless you with a better marriage. I know what I'm saying. Because when two individuals are totally committed to each other and committed to God, it's easy for them to be tender hearted to each other. God and Father, help families today to understand that they can't be rough and rude and crude with their partner, with their spouse. Help us to be tender hearted and loving and kind and easily forgiving each other as we go through the day. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you. Take the world, but give me Jesus. In his cross, my trust shall be. Till with clear a brighter vision, face to face, my Lord shall see. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and bread of love, oh, the fullness of redemption, pledge of endless life of